Okay, gorgeous. Let's get all touchy feely because I've got a stack of touch and feel books. So let's go. Let's start off wild with wild animals. Actually, you know what? We're going to start off with a different one because this one I feel like has better stuff. So maybe we'll wait for wild animals until you're like pretty much falling asleep because I think that this is like way better and I want you to get the good stuff first. So here we go. We're starting off with Ocean Friends. Ocean Friends. And we've got our little friend, the sea turtle. Do you want to give the sea turtle a name? What do you think would be a good name for the sea turtle? So we can press the little shell, or we can do like this. Well, let's get on in here. Let's go under the sea. So we've got a shiny dolphin and a little pressable belly. And I was gonna do my nails. One second, I wanna get little glittery nails for you. Okay, we're back. I went to go put on some shimmery nail polish. It did not work out. I got carried away, put way too much. So then I tried to fix it with some Lisa Frank stickers. I thought it would be an improvement, but you know what? This is just how it's gonna be. I did put a little dolphin. I did put a little dolphin on this nail. So that it's hard to see, but it's a dolphin. And then there's a little bear. Because we're looking at a, a little dolphin baby right here, so I figured it was on brand, on the theme. Anyway, let's get back to touching and feeling. So we've got our little friend, little dolphin baby. Very shiny. Very shiny little Bali, splish splashing. Let's see what it says. Did you know a group of dolphins is called a pod? Dolphins can dive up to a thousand feet. Now we have a starfish. A starfish does not have a brain. I love that that's the fact that they put for the starfish. Feels like they're roasting the starfish, but I think they mean it literally, you know? Imagine if they didn't, though. Anyway, <laughs> if the starfish loses an arm, it grows back. really cool. And now we have a clownfish. This one's a little difficult because it doesn't actually let you do it all the way, which I don't know about you, but that kind of bothers me. But you know, maybe we can just accept that that's the way it is. Did you know? Clownfish are not good swimmers. Oh no. I wonder how that is. All clownfish are born male. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> seahorse time. It's seahorse time, bitch. Nice and scratchy 
Did you know? A seahorse can change the color of its body. That's really cool. A seahorse doesn't look like a fish, but it is one. That's true, man. Like, this is definitely a different look, a little fishy. Wild. And some coral. Did you know, corals are animals, not plants. Corals were around at the time of the dinosaurs. That's pretty neat. The end. So those were our ocean friends. Now let's do, let's do outer space. So we went into the ocean and now we're going into outer space. Okay. Do you have your space suit on? Here, I'll put on your helmet. There you go. Okay. Outer space. First we've got a very satisfying little plush, little pressing moment. The moon. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. The moon. If it takes, it takes one month for the moon to orbit the earth. The sun! Yeah, yeah. I like the ones that are kind of sort of interactive like this. Did you know the light from the sun takes only eight minutes to travel to the earth? I thought it took seven. Did the sun slow down a little bit? Isn't that so interesting? So whenever you're watching a sunrise, you're actually seeing it. No, my favorite is actually the sunset. You're watching a sunset and it's like the sun's already down. But you're still looking at it. Okay. A comet. Did you know? A comet is made up of ice. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. A comet is made up of ice, dust, and rocky material. So am I. And then this one, okay, in my opinion, I feel like they kind of cheaped out with this because it's just raised. It's not really, like, anything that crazy. And, like, it's a comet. You could have really gone hard on that, you know? Okay. Okay. There are eight planets in our solar system. As someone who was around when Pluto stopped being a planet, this is offensive.
we've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Which one's your favorite? Oh, whoa. Oh, now it's an innie. So cool. I forgot about this one. So the cool part about this is you put yourself in this little mirror and then you're the astronaut. It's really cool. So I guess my phone is the astronaut. Okay, let's pretend you're the mic. There we go. That's you as an astronaut. How cool is that? And then there's me as an astronaut. Let me see if I can angle it in a way where the astronaut. Mm, that's okay. Okay, so. Did you know you could be an astronaut too? Oh, that's cute because of the thing. Astronaut. Astronauts fly into space in rocket ships. Rocket ship, rocket ship, rocket ship. Okay, and that was outer space. Let's do the animal one now. Now we're gonna go into the wild. We've been into the ocean, we've been in outer space, and now we're going into the wild. Here we go, wild animals. A wizard. I'm a wild lizard. I live up in this tree. My skin is rough and scaly, but not my personality. Aww. Cutie. Okay. Koala. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. My furry body feels like wool, and I'm as cuddly as cuddly can be. My baby snuggles closely on my back while I nap in this eucalyptus tree. Oh, freaking bars, bro. Okay. Lion. The lion says, I've got this thick, hairy mane round my neck. And what can it, wait, and what can its purpose be? It seems the only reason is so lionesses will notice me. Notice me. Where's the, oh, here's the fluff. See, like, I feel like they could have done a little bit different with the fluff because we just got fluff in the last one. Although this fluff, I will say, is softer than the other fluff. Oh, that's really soft. Do you want to feel it? Let's see, Let's see if we can feel it. <laughs> now we messed up the lion's hair. Okay. Oh, did I fix the koala's hair? Dolphin again. Hey, this is our second dolphin of the day. Third if you count the one on my nail. Okay. I just hit myself in the face with this book and got lipstick on it. Okay. A dolphin. See, and this one just kind of has this going on. Dolphin. My skin is slick and smooth, and it helps me ride the ocean blue. And if you swam as much as me, you'd want skin like this, too. The end. Okay. 
Next, let's do the weather. Check out my cool sunglasses. Only one of the lenses does this, but whatever. Oh, ho, 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 that is soft. The average cloud weighs about as much as an airplane. Holy crap, that's a lot of water. That's huge. Oh my god. Snow. Snowflakes are unique. No two are ever the same. Can you catch one on your tongue? That didn't rhyme. I guess we were dropping the rhymes in this one. Oh yeah, this one didn't didn't rhyme either. Okay. Whatever. That's okay. Let's see. Maybe I can let me see if I can make come up with a rhyme. Oh boy. Snowflakes are unique. No two are ever the same. Aren't they beautiful? You can give each one a name. Oh. Okay. Wait, let's try that with clouds. Did you know the average cloud weighs about as much as an airplane? Oh, this is the same rhyme. Okay, well, did you know the average cloud weighs about as much as an airplane? This is kind of lame because this is the same rhyme. As a, wait, no, hold on. I had something in my head. <laughs> and then it fully went away. Okay, okay, we're doing it. Okay. The average cloud weighs about as much as an airplane. This word would use the same rhyme as the other one. So that is kind of lame. <laughs> that was close enough. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't try to do it with the cloud. Maybe you, you, you come up with something for the cloud one. Let's do that. Come up with a cute little rhyme for the, uh, for the cloud page, because it's not happening for me. Okay. Lightning! Lightning! This one is so cool, because look, it's got, like this, so it sounds like little electric sparks. That is way cool. Lightning. Light travels faster than sound. So we see lightning before we hear thunder. But you'll know thunder's around if you see lightning mm -hmm. under. I don't... Okay, okay, no, no, no. We can do this, we can do this. Light travels faster than sound, so we see lightning before we hear thunder. And when you see lightning around, find something safe you can hide under. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Electric, 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 electric sparks. Rainbow! colors. Can you name them all? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Alright, let's see. Rainbows have seven colors. Can you name them all? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. <gasps> and indigo! That was a close call. I almost forgot a color. Okay. The end. And last but not least, my big bed. I thought we could save this one for last because it's the sleepiest one. So we've got this little giraffe. 
with this little cozy pajama. I'm growing bigger every day. It is time to leave my crib, no doubt. A bigger bed is definitely needed, but I'm afraid I might fall out. Oh. There's a cute little pajama again. With the teddy bear. Put the little giraffe with the little teddy bear. And now the giraffe has a little bit. I feel kind of rude scratching the little giraffe's pillow, you know? Whoa. Mommy and Daddy said I could get a new blankie and a new pillow. Oh, okay. So then maybe I didn't scratch its pillow. Oh no, I scratched its new pillow. Oopsie. Scratched their new pillow, my bad. Mommy and Daddy said I could get a new blankie and new pillow. We'll move things around in my room and get a new nightlight that's yellow. Oh yeah, there's the nightlight. It's a little yellow star. Now what are we doing? Oh, little soft little sheep. This feels pretty accurate. My little brother's just arrived and we'll need my crib to sleep. We'll get to share a room together and maybe even count some sheep. What a cutie. Now the teddy bear, we get to feel the teddy bear. This is so soft, oh my God. Oh, that's smooth. I guess there are big changes heading my way and I will do my best to be ready. But all of these new things seem quite scary. I better take along my best friend, Teddy. I'm gonna cry, this is so cute. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and it's like iridescent pink. I wish I had a jacket like this, this is so cool. My room is quiet and I climb into my new bed. I'm tired and starting to yawn. My eyes start to close and I wonder if in the morning my fears will be gone. Oh, honey. Oh, it's gonna be okay. And now the sun is shining, ooh. What is that shining in my eyes? Wait, is that the sun? Yes, I made it through the night. Sleeping in my big bed is going to be fun. The end. Okay, those are all of the touch and feel looks that I have. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the fuzzies and scratchies and tickly 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 t